Really, there are four ways to get a promotion at work. The last one is a bit crazy and a bit out there, but trust me, it does happen. Number one, visibility. You need to join projects and do things where your seniors and your leaders or managers are directly involved. Something where they can see your progress. They need to see you, even if you're actually not doing the work. Or you need to be in spaces where they see you complaining about things, about how to improve the company or whatever situation you're in, even if you don't have a solution. Some people even do things like walk into the HR office and just greet the HR employees and so forth. As long as they know that you work there and that you're a positive person and that you're always thinking about things, that's one way to get ahead. I'm sure some of you have worked in places where people take photographs with their cell phones or about anything, maybe a tap that's leaking or an employee that's not doing their job or a pest control problem and they'd report this to higher management. That's all visibility. Have you heard about the saying that says out of sight, out of mind? Yeah, well, this is the opposite. In sight, in mind and in line for a promotion. It comes down to being a yes man, even if you know you're right. Never ever disagree with your bosses or with whoever you're trying to impress or with whoever has the power to hire people and give promotions and pay rises and so forth. You know, you need to let your ego go all the way to the curb and make sure that you agree with whatever these people are saying. You need to massage their egos and basically just be a positive person all the way around. I don't care if you just came out of a breakup. As soon as you get to work, you need to behave as if nothing happened. No one wants to see someone moping around, complaining about but anything you know work is hard enough as it is already you know there is office politics you know the long hours overtime and so forth the last thing people need is for someone to come with their own baggage and add to whatever is happening there have you ever seen those people from your finance departments hr departments and sales and so forth look at them have their lunch or dinner in the cafeterias or canteens and so forth it's all about small talk nobody really wants to hear all of that heavy stuff you know the conspiracy theories unless you mean it as a joke but things like politics religion all go out the window in most cases and number three is not taking anything personally this goes both ways so you will be doing things that will basically be stamping on other people's heads and so forth but you should put your emotions all the way out of it you know don't take anything too personal as well whatever happens try to look at it as a business decision also from your own perspective if you were to do something to basically backstab your best friend at work because you want a promotion or something like that well you should also just look at it as business being done it's all a game it's like a game of chess and it just depends on how you play it now the downside to this is you do sacrifice your authentic self so if you're one of those people who pride yourselves in you know being unique and different and having certain values and morals whatever they may be it doesn't mean you're a good person or a bad person but if you're willing to put aside your personal beliefs and so forth well, then you will be getting your promotion. And the last technique, the fourth one, which I told you about, this is when you use unorthodox or unconventional or be it as it may sometimes illegal ways or ways that are not morally uh, smiled upon, you know. So some people will use things like dark magic, black magic, I promise you. I remember my sister was working at a place where this guy visited a herbalist or a shaman or a sangoma or some type of, you know, medicinal guy, you know, but this wasn't like your formal doctor or anything like that, basically like a witch doctor. So this guy was then told to basically take a razor blade, cut thin a little uh, slits in the company's property so like the chairs the tables and so forth and he was supposed to masturbate and rub his semen or his seed in those little cuts and on those places wherever he had rubbed his seed whoever would sit there or eat from there would have favor with him 
So if his manager was to sit there like the next day, for example, suddenly his manager would just get the thought of, you know what, this guy's been very productive and so forth. Maybe he needs a promotion or a pay raise. Some people just pray to God. They just go to church. Well, these are also supernatural means to get that promotion. Some people use other types of charm and other forms of spirituality. Some people sabotage the people that are working in positions in which they want to go in. You know, some people would sabotage such people, you know, stab your car tires and so forth. But these are all ways to get promotions. For me personally, I think it's okay to not be a careerist all the time. You know, some people don't want promotion. Some people don't want to be owners of things. Some people don't want to be rich. They just want to work, make enough money to support their hobbies or even their families. And that too is okay. I personally am an advocate for people who want to you know, remain true to their authentic self. But I should warn you, if you're going to take this route, just know it won't be so easy and you'd always have to constantly motivate yourself and make sure that you make money via other ways.